guys, what is going on? It's November 24th, it's Sunday here. I'm hunting 5C and it's around 2.15 in the evening. Um, game plan, I'm kind of hunting a little pinch point. There's a deer trail on the right here and there's another de deer trail on my left. I do not have my climber stand. I'm just, I'm sitting up on this log. I don't know if you guys can see it. Got the crossbow there, camera here and you know, we're just gonna try to make the best of it. Let's see if we can, you know, stay low, get a sneak ourselves a deer and get on out of here. Let's do it. This is a 26 minute standoff with this freaking doe. My camera stopped recording, but wow. Holy fuck. I gotta check what time. My leg is cramping. I gotta straighten this out. 413. God. That thing, it it definitely smelled something. It knew something was up. It it was suspicious, but I did not move at all. I was very disciplined, and I know I hit it. I felt that. I, it's kind of like that double hit where you, it's like the crossover was boom, and you hear that pop. I hit it. So, you know, hopefully I hit a heart. Definitely double vitals, and no, that is just some good hard work paying off in the final hour of light here, and we're just going to let this thing... You know, it ran downhill right where I kind of wanted it to go. It's probably going to be dead along the creek. And, you know, we'll start tracking this thing in 30 minutes. Just be safe. But I really think I got him good. So it's 421. 
as much as I want to, you know, take my time and properly wait for this deer, it's starting to get dark. I don't want to look for this thing in the, you know, pitch black. And I played back my GoPro film and I really feel confident that this thing's double vitaled, probably 50 yards down on this mountain range. So all I'm doing is I was sitting right on that log just sitting on the ground and the wind was right which is the reason why I was able to get away and you know after roughly 30 minutes I just she made the fatal mistake and I capitalized so we're just gonna slowly walk look for blood and follow this blood trail so she's gonna take her time look around here we go guys we see I'm seeing the first bit of I see white hair, which I don't know if that's good or not. I'd be happier if we saw some blood. Oh, all right. We got our first sign of blood here on the leaves. Here's where first sign of blood. Alright, I'm seeing some blood over here, like, I'm seeing some really roughed up ground here. This deer has to be struggling going downhill. This deer's not strong enough to make it back up either. Oh no though, he did. He might have turned left here, guys. Well guys, I don't think we're getting this deer. We definitely freaking bumped it. <laughs> Rookie mistake. It's like, yeah, as much as you'd love to be able to clean a deer, get it out. We'll get this thing dead by tomorrow, so. Ugh. And look at all this blood. <sighs> Can't believe this right now. Oh guys, there it is. Oh my god, guys. I saw two other doe up on this top mountain and it wasn't making sense to me. I'm like, I, oh God, I thought for a second I bumped it. That was my biggest fear. And I was like looking at this blood. I'm like, there's no way. Look at this. And like, look at the ground. Like you could tell that this thing, there was no way that the shot that I put on it that it would have the strength to climb up this mountain. Sure enough, I looked to my right and 10 yards, here it is, doe down, baby. Very thankful, five, five C, here we go. Here he is, guys, right in the vital. God is good, I am just so beyond thankful and you know, it shouldn't be that bad of a drag to be honest, I just gotta drag it along this creek here Let's undo it. Let's go.